What's up everybody, this is MV here, back with another video. So I saw this comment on somebody else's community post earlier today, and I wanted to respond to this comment, or I guess I should say, provide my commentary on this comment. But this comment was left, as you can see here, uh, by The Al Show. And I guess I can just give a little background initially where this comment was placed. It was under a content creator's uh, community post where they shared a basically a forum on another platform talking about how can biracial people create a community, but that doesn't distance themselves from the African-American community. It was it was very weird. And it was definitely the question was posed by somebody who's black identified. But then I asked myself, why do you need to create a separate community? But at the same time, you're worried about distancing yourself from the African-American community. So that kind of like quandary to be involved in, it seems kind of like, uh, what's the right word to put? It just, it, it seems nonsensical, to be honest. The whole point of creating a biracial community, so you have a place of belonging and there's acceptance there because you're not getting that in the African-American community. You're getting outgrouped, but you have a lot of these people, they want like a biracial safe space but they still want to stay attached to the African-American community to a degree where it's kind of like a conflict of interest in a sense where they will uh, uphold the black community's sensibilities at the expense of kind of the mulatto collective. That's what I'm seeing, where they will basically try to uh, censor and they will try to police the kind of discussions being had amongst biracials to make sure it fits the liking and sensibilities of African-American communities. It's been, this has been going on for a while since I've heard about mixed race spaces. I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. My whole position is literally to distance myself away from these type of people who still have this, uh, who are black identified, number one, but who have this need to kind of adhere to the African-American sensibilities. Because it's like, well, there's a conflict of interest. Why are you here, you know, with what I'm doing? Because you clearly know with someone like me, I'm trying to create something that's uniquely independent, meaning we're not bound to the black communitas standards. OK, we can do business. We can collaborate and associate. And if there's a fair, equal exchange means they give us something, we give them something. I'm OK with that. That's just part of life. And, you know nature but this like staying attached to where we're like this kind of parasitic relationship to where they take from us they take 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 and they give us nothing we don't even have a safe space in their community that's why you have all these biracials talking about let's create our own community but at the same time it's like you don't feel safe amongst them you want to have something else for yourself but you're still attached to them i don't know it's a very confusing situation that i see um, but with me, it's just, no, it's just basically cut and dry. Okay. If you want something from us, you have to give us something and it's going to be a uh, fair, equal exchange, but let's get into this comment right here. So this comment is from the Al show. Shout out to the Al show. He puts here, I think, and this is in regards to the comment that I said earlier about how can biracial people create their own community, but not distance themselves from the black community, which is really stupid even to ask that question. But the Al Show is bringing some logical sense here, so he's going to respond. Reading his comment, I think that depends on the BW black white or black other biracial person. If you were biracial in an African-American community, then it is an issue because that's the only community you know and are from. And I just pointed that out basically earlier. I initially pointed that out how it's like, well, there's kind of a conflict of interest. If you are if you were enculturated and socialized in that African-American community, that's all you know. That's your framework, your thinking, your center of orientation. Like you are always internally going to beg for their acceptance and belonging in that group. But you're in a position now, since they're pushing you out, you want to create your own thing, but you still want to stay attached to serve them. It's, it's, it's very bizarre. But continuing on with the comment, he puts, uh, if you grew up elsewhere, as I did, okay, it isn't an issue because there are no ties um, he puts save. I think it says there are no ties, uh, say, for relatives, perhaps. I believe he meant to say uh, ties, say, for relatives, perhaps. Yeah. 
Exactly. Like um, the only ties that I have is with my by my black family. OK, when I have relatives, there's the ties, the connections there. But I wasn't raised in an all or majority black community. So I don't have ties in that regards. But historically, mixed race and biracial people had their own groups and institutions, even communities in parts of this country. Facts, pure facts. There's history there of mulatto communities. We had the Brown Fellowship Society in the Carolinas and then also in the Louisiana area. You've had mulatto communities like in the Mulatto Bend, Louisiana area, which is outside of uh, Port Allen and uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, you had Creole communities in that general region as well. So there is a for sure historical context that there were mixed race, biracial, mulatto communities in America that have existed. But with all we know, the federal policies with the Racial Integrity Act, et cetera, removing our classification from the census, there's been a lot of effort to basically destabilize us, essentially. I wanted to talk about this comment because I like how the Al Show provides some context and also some logical reasoning to the initial question that was asked that I, I basically already stated here was like the foolishness and the kind of uh, quandary, the problem that we see with a lot of these black identified biracials, okay, who all they know, their center of orientation is the African-American community. And they can't seem to ever really distance themselves from that community. They will internally always adhere to their sensibilities over everything else. That's all they know. It's a conflict of interest when you get a group of biracials who want to create space or a group, et cetera, want to expand. There is always going to be that issue. And that's something I've noted. Just wanted to share my thoughts. Please, guys, let me know what you think. Put a comment. I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Peace.